The Teslong NTS 300 inspection camera features a five inch tempered glass screen with an LED flashlight and hinged pistol grip. It is ideal for auto mechanics, plumbers, electricians, HVAC pros, and home DIY. The monitor is weather resistant and is safe to use in light rain or splash with water, while the camera probe is IP67 rated to be submergible. This device is modular and can be purchased with several camera probe options that range from 3.9 millimeters to 12.5 millimeters in diameter and from one meter to five meters in length. You can choose from single lens, dual lens, triple lens, or autofocus lens probes to adapt your NTS 300 to a wide range of inspection tasks. After opening the box, you'll see the NTS 300 monitor, the camera probe, a USB cable, and different camera probes come with different accessories. The accessories can include a hook, a mirror, and a magnet. But some probes with side view lenses don't include mirrors and our smallest 3.9 millimeter probes are not threaded to accept any accessories. The USB cable is for downloading content and charging the monitor. Teslong firearm bore scopes will also work with this monitor but are not usually sold with it. If you want to use a bore scope with this monitor, just add the NTG 100 QTQ cable to your order, and the bore scope will easily connect to the monitor. We'll start off by going over the monitor. At the top of the trigger handle is the power button, which doubles as the ring light button after the device is powered on. At the base of the screen, you'll find buttons for the mode, photo or video capture, OK, settings, and up and down. On the left side of the trigger is the handle tilt release to angle the probe away from the monitor. On the left side of the monitor, you'll find a rubber door, and behind that, you'll see a micro SD card slot and a USB plug for charging and downloading content. On the bottom of the trigger grip is the button for the LED flashlight. On the back of the monitor, you'll find the reset button and the speaker. Now we'll install an inspection probe. First, we align the groove on the probe with the red dot on the threaded port and thread the collar onto the port. The device should start with a long press of the power button, followed by the screen logo, and the ring light on the probe should turn on. Check the ring light by short pressing the power button to cycle through three levels of brightness, as well as turn the ring light off and on. You'll see some icons on the screen, including the SD card indicator and battery level in the upper right corner, the date and timestamp in the lower right corner, and in the upper left corner, you'll see the photo or video mode indicator. If the battery indicator is low, you should charge the device. To take a photo, simply press the capture button while in photo mode, and the image will be saved to the memory. To change from photo to video mode, just press the mode button. Now you can record video when you press the capture button, and the time code will show in the lower left-hand corner of the screen in red. In photo or video mode, you can flip the screen view 180 degrees by pressing the down button. You can zoom in on the subject by pressing the up button. It will cycle through two zoom levels before returning to the original view. If your inspection camera came with a dual or triple lens probe, you change which lens you are looking through by cycling the button right above the probe port. It's easy to change your view with a multi-lens probe. You don't even have to move your camera from the inspection area. Now that we have some photos and video captured, you can view these files on the monitor in playback mode. But if you want to move the files to a computer, there are two ways to do this. The first method is to plug your monitor into the computer with the USB cable and find the drive in the Finder window. Note the monitor needs to be turned on to see the files on the computer. If you don't turn it on, all you will do is charge the monitor's batteries. Navigate to the DCIM folder 
and you will see photos and video from the device stored there and can drag and drop them onto the computer. Another option for removing the files is to remove the micro SD card and insert it into a card reader and pull the files out of the DCIM folder. If you want to adjust the settings on your device, click the Settings button to see the changes that can be made to things like resolution, date stamp, and audio. Each mode, photo, video, and playback, will have its own page under Settings. Click Settings again to go to the second menu page with adjustments for the Auto Power Off, Language, Date or Time, Format, Default Settings Reset, and the Version Information. Finally, to get the best image quality from your inspection camera, clean the camera lens before and after each use with a soft microfiber cloth and a cotton swab. For stubborn stains, you can use warm water or rubbing alcohol, but don't use stronger solvents. The screen and monitor can also be wiped down to clean away dust and fingerprints with a microfiber cloth and a few drops of warm water or rubbing alcohol. Store the device in its plastic case when you aren't using it. That covers everything you need to know to use a Teslong NTS 300 inspection camera. If you still have more questions or are experiencing any issues with your product, please contact us via email, online chat on our website, or call us on the number shown on the screen. And thank you for purchasing your product from Teslong.